Welcome today to, uh, to welcome to Welcome to the Little School News. I'm your anchor, Audrey. And I'm your anchor, Nikki. Now for the joke of the day. So my printer was broken, mm -hmm. and it was playing music. Mm -hmm. What was wrong with it, I mean? It was jamming. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> please, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in the moment of reflection. That was mine. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 26. Today is is voting the day of our middle school students. Government. Good luck to all those running now to trip to the principal's office. Good luck. Good morning, Mighty Mustangs. Happy Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed that extra day off. I know I sure did. Now it's time to get back to work. You will have report cards coming up before you know it, so make sure you are doing everything to end up on that honor roll. If not, get after it. Get with your teachers. Find out what you need to do to hopefully make some A's and B's because we want to see all of you at our honor roll celebration at the end of the nine weeks. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you around campus. Make sure you're kind to one another. Have a great day. Bye. Nikki. Now for Hispanic Heritage Moment. The following states have the highest Hispanic population. Washington, Virginia, Texas, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, New York, New Mexico, New Jersey, Nevada, Massachusetts, Illinois, Georgia, Florida, Colorado, California, and Arizona. Today's lunch. Here on the screen is what we have, what is for lunch today. Please remember these menu items may change. Now for today's birthdays. Today, no Woodville birthdays, so, so sad. Now for the weather. Today, thunderstorms are likely high 79. Tomorrow, look for a mix of clouds the, and, and sun with scattered thunderstorms, high 81. Now for the fun fact of the day. Did you know that the world's tallest man was Robert Wadlow from Michigan, America? He measured eight feet and two inches. That was tall. For all of our elementary classes that we all have, that's all we have for today, but for our middle school classes mm -hmm. coming up next, mm -hmm. we will have some of our student government candidates who are running for elections. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you around campus. Bye. Good morning, Woodville Mustangs. Happy Tuesday and happy election day. Before you guys vote today, we have two more candidates to hear from. Our first candidate is Dominique in seventh grade. Dominique, tell everyone what you're running for. I'm running for sec secretary, y'all. Secretary, so what qualities should you have as to be a good secretary? Organized, mm -hmm. caring, fast at doing tasks, Excellent. So you're organized, you're caring about people, you are quick to get the tasks done, you don't let it draw out. Excellent. If you were elected, what is one thing you'd like to see improved here at Woodville? Field trips for, for middle school, mm -hmm. more field trips, fundraisers. Mm -hmm. All right, so more field trips, like field day, having more opportunities for social things, um, more fundraisers so that you can do these things. All right. And what is your plan to make that improvement? 
what are you going to do to help get those things tackled and done? Talk to uh, administration and, and the president soon. All right, talk to the administration and the president. And when you go to them, what are you going to tell them you want? Hey, I I want I want a field day for, for middle schoolers and maybe and maybe st study hall as a extra class. Okay, maybe having study hall as an extra class to help as well. Good job. All right, and what do you or why should middle school students vote for you as secretary, Dominique? Because I'm fast. I I get things done. I'm organized. I'm caring. I'm trustworthy. All right, and there you have it, Dominique for secretary. And we are back with Ashton, our final candidate for interviewing. Ashton, what are you running for? President. Ashton is running for president. What leadership qualities do you need to have as president, Ashton? Um, a, a good listener, and, um, and that's it. All right, to be a good listener. So if you were elected, how are you going to use these listening skills to improve the school? What do you want to improve? Students learning. So student learning. What do you mean by student learning? Like their learning environment and um, that's it. So the learning environment. And how are you going to do that? By, by approving like their, like their um, like how, how, like their space. Okay, so the learning space, maybe getting some tutors, um, maybe a study hall class, something like that, to help students raise their academics. All right, now, why should middle school students vote for Ashton? Because I'm a, I'm a great leader and I uh, like to meet new people. He is a great leader and likes to meet new people. There you have it, Ashton for president. All right, Mustangs, you have heard from quite a few candidates the last several days. Today is the day to vote. Please make sure you are voting based on the issues and everything that these people can do, not just who gave you the best candy at lunch. Um, enjoy, I enjoyed this process. I hope you guys did as well, and happy voting.